Hello and welcome to the five day self care reboot journey. My name is Cassie. If we haven't met before, I'm so excited that you're here. Please comment down below and let us know where you're joining us from. Um, or if you're jumping on the replay, I'd love to know as well. We have an amazing group of people that have signed up uh, to do this self care journey. Over 200 people have registered, which is mind blowing and amazing to me, but really just shows me how important um, we're all tuning into this field of, of what we need and what's important for us right now. And self care is at the top of the list. So I want to acknowledge you and celebrate you for signing up and for showing up and for being here um, because Putting even just a little bit of awareness or energy toward our self-care is probably the single most important thing that we can do right now. Uh, to me, self-care is an action, an act of self-love. And the beautiful thing about that is that you don't even have to feel that deep self-love um, to be able to do small acts of self-care and self-love is actually built and that muscle is built um, by practicing these small acts of self-care so every time we practice self-care it's a little dose of of self-love and of loving ourselves a little bit more deeply because all of us have these very core wounds core beliefs of um, maybe i'm not good enough maybe i'm not enough maybe i'm not worthy um, and so self-care to me is an act of showing yourself that you're there for yourself, that you've, you've got your own back and you can be your own support system and your own best friend, which continuously builds up that muscle of self-love. So I'm so happy that you're here and that you're joining us. And today's video will be a little bit longer than usual. I'm going to try to keep them as short and sweet as possible. Um, just want to give you a little overview of how the next five days are going to go. So I will be jumping on here every day at 10 a.m. Pacific time to do a live video um, and where I'll be sharing a PDF with some exercises that you can do throughout the day. Um, so today you should see a link in the caption um, linking you to the PDF for day one for today. Um, and I'm so excited to do this journey with you all. So before we start today, I thought we'd start by just, if you're watching live or watching the replay, it's okay to look silly. Just give your body a little shake, a little shake out, shake off, whatever's been, whatever's been troubling you. And one of my mentors, Anne-Marie, always gets me to do the with the lips. We release a lot of energy doing this. So you can do it if I can do it on live looking that silly. So shake and and really just settle into the seat that you're in right now and, and then take a deep breath. And really just tune into the body. Just notice how you're feeling today. Notice what's going on inside you. And I invite you to Leave a comment down below. How are you? How are you feeling in this moment? Are you feeling excited? Are you feeling nervous? Are you feeling stressed? Like what's coming up for you in this moment? Because it's this moment-to-moment -moment awareness that is really going to support us and bring us through, um, bring us through this moment in time. Um, and you know, there's no rule book for what's going on in the world right now. We're really in unprecedented times and. I want to show you through this self-care journey that there's no specific way to feel right now. There's no specific way that you're supposed to be, that you're supposed to feel, that you're supposed to act. There's there's no rule book for what we're experiencing, you know, on this globe, on this our beautiful earth right now. Um, a lot of us are stuck at home and really feeling the distance from our loved ones and there are others of us who are working the front lines and are experiencing battles battles of our own and 
now more than ever, it's really important to discover and cultivate that deep self-compassion for whatever it is that we're experiencing in the moment, whatever we're feeling. Um, and so I really want you all to know that there's nothing that you should be doing. There's nothing that you should be feeling. Everything is okay. And, and we're going to dive a little bit into that today. And uh, today is one of my favorite topics. And it's about realizing that self-care isn't just simply adding a bunch of activities to your schedule that make you feel good. It's just as important, if not more important, um, what we eliminate and what we bring light to um, that's no longer needed, no longer useful in our lives. And so today's topic is to stop shooting on ourselves. And this is a big one for me, and it's it's something I find really powerful to dive into. We, we have all of these shoulds floating around in our mind uh, throughout the day. Some examples that you might have been experiencing lately are, I should be more productive. You know, if I, if I have a bunch of time, I should just be more productive or I should be more available to friends or I should be exercising more. Um, there's the shoulds and then there's the shouldn'ts. It's, oh, I shouldn't be watching so much Netflix. You know, I really shouldn't be eating so much junk food. And a big one that I've been noticing with my coaching clients is feeling like we shouldn't be feeling sad or bad or hurt or upset um, when we know that there are other people that are experiencing, you know, things that are a lot more serious, a lot more difficult than we are. So we feel bad for, for feeling bad. It's like, oh, I shouldn't feel bad because, you know, I'm luckier than a lot of people. And then on the complete other side of that, um, I've had clients tell me that if they've had a really great day, they're feeling really happy, really inspired, even with everything that's going on. It's, oh, I shouldn't be so happy because everyone else is struggling or my family members are experiencing this or that and I shouldn't be able to be happy. Um, and so really, we come to see that when we live by the shoulds, we can't win. It's a lose-lose situation. Um, and you know, should has, it's a, a word that we've used to basically plan our days, plan our lives, you know, the infamous to-do list. Uh, but we forget to question where the should is even coming from. And one of my favorite teachers, Abraham Hicks, loves to say that if it sounds like your mother, it's a should. Um, and it's so true. It's, it's basically this pattern of thought that has been handed down to us. We may have been taught or told it directly by a parent or a teacher or a friend, um, or it might just be something that we learned is the acceptable way to be by watching how society functions. And often, often it runs on autopilot, but can have a serious impact on the decisions we make every day and more importantly, how we feel. You know, it doesn't normally feel that good to have so much pressure on ourselves and and really why I believe that we, we fall into the trap of the shoulds um, is because we believe that we're not already whole. And so shoulds make us believe that we're not already whole and that we have to be, do, feel, have, learn something else, something different in order to be whole. And so through this journey, I want to show you that you are already whole. And um, when we know that, we aren't endlessly searching for the shoulds to fill us up and to give ourselves credit for checking this thing off and checking that thing off because we already give ourselves credit when we know we are whole. And then when we believe that and we come from that place, we naturally do the things that are best for our bodies and our minds and our hearts and all of that. And so it's reframing um, the beliefs around the shoulds um, a little bit. And so today's exercise is going to be identifying how the shoulds have been showing up in your life lately. So what are some of the things that you've been saying to yourself lately? What have you noticed that you've been hard on yourself for doing or not doing? So I want you to really take a good um, 10 minutes and reflect on the first few questions um, on the exercise sheet and think about some of the conversations you've been having with yourself over the last month or so. Um, and then 
starting to take a look at where have some of these shoulds come from? Do you remember learning it as a child? Do you, did you just pick it up from watching how other people live their lives? Like what is the root of, of some of these shoulds? And I'm going to invite you as an act of self-care today, this is a self-care journey, to release one of the shoulds on yourself today. And so you can choose whichever one you want. You can definitely choose more than one, um, but you're going to write it on a separate piece of paper and burn it. And if that option isn't available to you, you can write it on a separate piece of paper and take a pen and really strongly just cross that should out and then rip up the paper. Uh, and whichever method you choose, enjoy this exercise. This is a really powerful exercise in releasing some of the pressure that we knowingly or unknowingly put on ourselves. And so I'm really excited to hear how that goes for you. Um, please let us know down below um, what the should is that you've decided to release or set fire to today, um, whether you're live now or jumping back on the replay. Let us know um, what your experience was with this exercise and what you can let go of and take the pressure off of yourself for in this moment today. Um, and that's it for day one, and I will see you back here same time tomorrow for day two. Um, and leave some comments below, and I will hopefully get back to, to everyone um, who shares their, their experience or their should that they're releasing, and I'm really excited to hear how this exercise goes for you. Sending lots of love, and I hope everyone has a wonderful day.